What's up, guys? Have you ever heard of the Romeo cycle? Um, it's actually R-M-E-O, but they call it the Romeo cycle. R, it stands for rush. M stands for mistakes. E stands for extra work. And O stands for overwhelmed. So if you look at it like you got the R on top, and then the M, and then the E on the bottom, and then the O here, which leads back to the R, so. Um, it mostly has to do with uh, people who procrastinate or people who don't get very um, personally involved in their work. Um, you start off, you're, you're in a rush, and you're usually in a rush because you procrastinated. You, you didn't start something on time. Uh, 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 something is, uh, you know, ha has a deadline of tomorrow, and it normally takes you two days to do it, but you didn't start it until uh, today. Or you might not even start it till tomorrow morning, and then instead of having two days, you have just like a full work day to get it done. So you're in a rush, and what do you do when you're in a rush? You make mistakes. Um, human nature, right? And mistakes always lead to extra work. Always. Especially if you're at a job where somebody's checking your work. You know, you hand in your work. Somebody goes, you missed this, you missed this, you missed this, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, you did that wrong. And then what do you got to do? You got to go back and fix it. Now you're already in a rush. And the fact that you have extra work, what does that do to you? It makes you feel overwhelmed that's where the O comes in now the thing that was supposed to take you two days you only had a day to do it and now you're feeling overwhelmed and you get that done but guess what now the next project which is due tomorrow which you should have started yesterday but you're now starting now because you were overwhelmed with work the rush process starts all over again and then you make mistakes and it creates extra work and then you feel overwhelmed, and then you're rushing the next project, and so on and so forth. And that's what happens with hardcore um, uh, procrastinators, people who are chronic procrastinators. And the, the worst thing about it is that you know, maybe when you're a child, it only hurts you, right? Because you're handing in your homework late or you're doing whatever uh, late. But when you grow up to be an adult, now you're working on a team. And it's not just your extra work anymore. It's not just your feeling overwhelmed. It's not just your mistakes. Now you're making mistakes that affect the group. Now you're creating extra work that affects the group. Now you're overwhelmed and so is your, so is the rest of your group. It's an interesting cycle.